Black ice causes traffic headaches for everyone, and the key message when dealing with this type of weather is to slow down. So what do truck drivers do when it's icy and dangerous out there? News 3's Emily Pike asked. Here's what they told her. No matter what road you're traveling on or how much traffic there is, it's a game of I see you, you see me. But what some drivers don't always plan for is what's beneath them. You just have to come to an understanding that everybody's trying to get somewhere and slow down. Um, you're not going to make it if you don't. That's the advice from Anna Hill. She does a lot of driving, mainly to get from her home in Kentucky to her job in Missouri. She says the biggest problem she sees is other drivers, and she has some advice for them. You are behind a semi and they're going really slow. There's a reason they're going really slow. Don't try to go around them or go faster than them. That message being echoed by Willie Rodriguez, a truck driver who's been braving the icy roads all the way from Texas. I think people drive too fast. I've seen a lot of um, jackknife trucks and that's mainly just going too fast and all the black ice involved. We all know by now to slow down and keep a good distance between other drivers. But that advice only goes so far when the ice starts forming. At a certain point, Hill says road crews do play a part. And that is very clear to her on her drive to work. Um, some, some good areas in Kentucky, but once I came to the Missouri Bridge, it was... <laughs> a problem a lot of drivers experienced on Tuesday. One by one, crash after crash. Both Hill and Rodriguez know what to do in icy weather, because as Rodriguez puts it, speeding on ice is asking for trouble, and that is not worth it. The delivery's gonna get there regardless, just as long as we get there safe and home safely. Our wife and kids, that's a, my main reason for slowing down my kids, because my wife, because she misses me already, and then for me not to be there one day, It'd be devastating for her. Her first responders the next day on the job could be their last. Thankfully for one Charleston police officer, he survived after being rear-ended by semi on Tuesday evening. You just want everybody to be safe. He was out trying to do his job to keep everyone safe. And, you know, it's, it's just sad that it happened. Emily Pike, News 3.